Congratulations on your purchase of the Micro Safari. Your adventure is about to begin. In this video, find setup and care instructions for your new ecosystem. In your starter kit, find the Safari slide, a mobile microscope, micro food, a micro scoop, and a watering syringe. To attach the mobile microscope to your smartphone or tablet, pull back the plunger of the mobile microscope and slide it over your camera. Look through the microscope lens to make sure that it is centered right over the camera. Open your preferred camera app, whatever you normally use to take photos. Pinch to zoom so that the microscope view fills the whole screen. Go ahead and lay the mobile microscope on top of your Safari slide. Touch to focus on objects of interest and start your expedition. When you receive your Micro Safari, or as soon as you see this video, use the following instructions for feeding. We fed the organisms right before shipping, and by now, they're ready to eat again. To feed your Micro Safari, start by pulling out one of the blue plugs on the backside of your Safari slide. Using the included micro scoop, drop one to two scoops of dry micro food into the hole. Push the plug back into place. There's a lot of wiggle room when it comes to feeding your Micro Safari. You can forget to feed it for months at a time, and although the populations will begin to shrink, once you begin feeding it again, everything will spring right back to life. Depending on the current population size of your ecosystem, you may need to feed more or less food than our one to two scoop per week guideline. As a rule of thumb, feed the organisms once they have finished their last meal. If you're feeling adventurous, you could experiment with inserting different human foods other than our included micro food to see how the organisms react. Do be aware that if you decide to do this, we cannot guarantee results and you may set into motion unintended consequences within your micro safari, such as species extinction or even full-scale ecological collapse. Your micro safari may need to have water added to it occasionally, depending on how dry it is where you live. Visually inspect your micro safari. If it looks super dry, water it. If you're questioning whether or not it looks dry, it is not dry. It's pretty obvious when your micro safari is dry. To water your micro safari, use the included watering syringe to inject water into the micro safari. Start with five milliliters and wait a day to see if that was enough water. Use filtered water or water from nature. Tap water will hurt the organisms because of the chlorine content. Additionally, if you purchase a micro safari and it is very hot or very cold where you live, we may need to ship you a dry micro safari that will need to be watered on arrival. We do this because it helps the organism survive harsh temperatures during shipment. If you'd like to receive news on organism discoveries, educational materials, and new micro safari add-ons, sign up for occasional email announcements at microsafari.org. Have fun!